Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to the second episode on Zetacraft Season 4. I hear that there is a skeleton spawner somewhere underneath this mountain. I think that we are going to make that our mission today, is to find the skeleton spawner that's somewhere under the mountain. Now, I'm going to need some more tools for sure. I'll probably make an extra shovel, a couple extra pickaxes, maybe a sword. All right, let's uh, let's get down there. Now, I don't want to use this cave entrance because I'm pretty sure I should start digging right over here by this water. Maybe it's this water. I think it might be this one. Let's uh, do what you can do. Hey there! Wow, you look all fancy. <laughs> yeah? That's a lot of stuff. Thanks. Alright, well, now we've got... Got some diamond gear, because Maya's so generous. Wow, yeah, that's way faster. Gold! Hey, look at that. More iron. Oh. Did you hear that? I hear skeletons. Oh. Oh, too bad I don't have a door. Oh, yeah, Maya gave me all this iron, too. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't have a shield. Oh. Okay. Not open. Nice. Take a little peek, maybe. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Get some light in there. Nope. Yes, fight each other, skeletons. up so we don't get attacked from behind. That's cool block. <gasps> diamonds! My first real diamonds! That I'm going to use a diamond pickaxe to get. Oh, good thing that didn't go towards the lava because I couldn't pick it up. Excellent. Diamonds! Woo! My first diamond! <gasps> and my second diamond! Let's go drop some stuff off. Also, we're gonna make a bunch of stairs while we're up there, so we can not have to jump a million times to get back. Alright, before we go back down, let's make a couple of chests. What else did we want to frame with? Shield. What else do we want? A door? Door might be nice. Alright, now let's get down there. Oh, stairs! We were gonna make a bunch of stairs. That should be enough, right? Maybe? We might not have made enough stairs. We definitely did not make enough stairs. Also, I should probably... Oh yeah, I should probably also make a crafting table to bring down there with me. Forty more stairs should be plenty. Alright, now we got a crafting table as well, in case we need to make anything else while we're down there. Oh, food. Didn't get any food before I came back over here. 
Ugh. Something I can eat in the water. Huh? Birds over there. Ah. I need to get food before I go back down there. I suppose since I have all that iron now, I can make myself some armor. Right, so, boom, boom, boom. We're all kitted up in iron. Got some melon slices to bring down there with us. All right, let's get back down there. Finish our staircase. All right, the door there. Ow. A bone to pick. Oh jeez, okay. We're in... We're in the dungeon now. Ow. More light in here. There's a spawner. Just spawned like three more. Jeez. Ah! Nah! Okay, well, I got a bunch of arrows now. Oh no, oh no, oh no, this is bad. I don't know what to do. Just throw a light down. Ah, no. Oh, great. If I get killed again, I'm gonna bring my bed with me when I come back, so that I can uh, sleep down here. Get my stuff. Oh no. Okay. Oh jeez. So dark over there. Throw some more torches down. Oh, jeez. That's like a cave. Oh. Okay. Whew. Oh, that was close. Oh, I went to eat and it was looking at the door. I opened the door. Ah, okay, let's bring this bed. At least all of my stuff should be in that little spot. All right, we're back. On point is set. Okay. A little bit more lighting to do. Put some light on this thing. Yeah. Okay. That might be all the spawners. Light up this cave. That's all my torches. Well, hopefully that's lit up enough. All right, let's see what kind of loot we get out of here. Arrow of harming. Arrow of poison. Nice. Golden apple. Whoa. Why do I hear skeleton and spiders? What? Where'd you come from? Alright. 
So I'm pretty sure I got this whole place all cleared out and looted. Ooh, look at that. So here is what we got. We got a whole bunch of enchanted books. Uh, I know I saw a mending. Yep, yeah, there's a mending. Some good books. One Curse of, Curse of Vanishing book. But not too bad. Got some good bows as too. Got a mending bow in there. Power 3, Power 2, and another Curse of Vanishing. Uh, got a whole bunch of different arrows. Four golden apples and one enchanted golden apple. Uh, got some dead bushes, which... I mean, it doesn't look exciting, but that's not a renewable resource. Those are, there's a finite number in the world. Uh, and then, yeah, like some, some of your basic stuff, some iron, gold, brewing stand, redstone, a couple of leads. Not a bad haul. Also, in this place, I believe there are four... Four skeleton spawners. One, two, three, four. All right, if I stand right here, all four are activated. Maybe even, yeah, right here works too. Or, no, maybe dead center, right above, yeah. That block right there is where I can stand and have all four of those skeleton spawners activated. So I think this would be a great place to set up a skeleton farm. What do you guys think? This one spawner on the ground is a little inconvenient. I'm gonna have to lower the whole floor even further, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. All right, well, I got some work ahead of me. I'm going to clear all this out before I can start doing anything else. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, look at that. We just found some more diamonds. And would you look at that? Another diamond in here that I missed. All right. So with that, I have got the skeleton farm all done. And Maya even came and he set up a storage system for me. This thing is massive and it has been working very well. Getting us all kinds of bones and arrows and a lot of miscellaneous drops. He also set up this little bone blocker over here to make more bone blocks out of bones. And there's this thing that automatically makes bone blocks out of bone. And, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of bone blocks already. If we take a look inside here, it's a little dark, but here are our four spawning chambers. If you stand right here, all four of them are activated at the same time. Now we get up to entity cramming pretty quickly. One other thing that we got from Maya is this backpack. This backpack came loaded with all of this cool, good gear. So, let's go ahead and put that stuff on. I've been using this katana already on the farm. Got a nice, amazing bow that only needs one arrow. All right, check out this gear. So, as you guys can probably tell by the state of this little room over here, I have set up shop down here, underground, again. Actually disassembled my camp up top, moved everything down here. I actually think I'm gonna lean into this this season and uh, really live down underground. Let's see, I also made this iron knife so that from my wheat I can get straw. Straw can be used to make multiple things, but one of those things is rope. Rope can be used for multiple things, but one of those things is making tomato plants grow taller. All right, so let's check this out with the sword. Clears out pretty quickly. Like, look at all of these 
backpacks that I've got. Not to mention, there's more in the storage system right now. 